So here we are, my beautiful, what we used to call Holford Glen. It's Shepherd's Coombe leading to Hodder's Coombe, leading to Holford Green. Now, because I'd done so well, I decided to do extra. So, but with a couple of shortcuts. So, that made sense to me to do a couple of shortcuts. Now, if I hadn't gone off track there, the sun was in my eyes. I only just caught the deer. The sun was really in my eyes. And um, I couldn't see to focus or anything. Yes, the bubbling brook. Don't forget, this is Wordsworth and Coleridge country. So that's a coom I need to look up. It will have a name. I don't think you can do it in the summer because in the summer there'd be 10 foot high bracken, this stuff. I was only able to do that then because it's, um, it's winter. I'm glad I've done a little bit of exploring as well. Didn't get dark till half past four now, five o'clock. So, I'd live out here if I could though, I do love it out here. But that never happen. Only my spirit will visit there. My spirit will. Yeah, it definitely will. They've probably come here. Even if I go on Glastonbury tour, I'll probably make myself back here. I mean, I, in the beginning, I always wanted to come up here, see. But, I still, I don't know. So anyway, I'm glad I've come down the coombe. You know, I do love it. I do love this coombe. These trees have known me since I was a child. These trees have. They've seen me come and go here. Talking to myself, talking to them. In the mid mid winter, frosty winds made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago, what can I give him? Poor as I am, if I was a shepherd. I would give a lamb If I was a wise man And I can't remember the words Oh, so what shall I give him? La, 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 la I used to know all that, you know I haven't really sung hymns since I was at school. A yeah, long time ago now. I've really enjoyed today. I've needed to get out. That lovely tree there. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely little combs. And you. Scary old knoll trees that you are. Aren't you? Scary old gnarled trees. I like the deer to know I'm about. Ah, oh, I often think of me if my sister turned into a deer, could she? And they know they're not too frightened because they know it's me. They know it's me. Maybe they've been following me. They look just like the other ones. 
Oh, I'm so glad I've come back through here, trees. I'm hoping I can come for a while yet. I've never forgotten any of you. Since I was a child, I went many years where I didn't come here. Um, I came here not for many years, and then I came here a few times when Zara was in 1973. I came up here. I came up here when I was doing some of my college course as well to do lichen studies. So there have been times when I've still come and visited. Um, then I came. And then I think, don't think I came up again until. We might have been on holiday once with Valer at Valerie's. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. No, Georgia was small. So we're talking a good 30 odd years ago. So it would have been early 80s. So I, I reckon there was 10 years, 12 years where I only came up a couple of times. And then. Um, I only came up a couple of times. And then, um, when I was in 96, I came up here with my kids, Georgia, Jolene, and Zara, not Duncan, he didn't come. Came up here with them. I'd been up here possibly 96, 97, and I came up here once bef with them. Um, Roy, I brought him up here once as well. I've been up here with Georgia. I've, so I, I was coming up here, but not as often as what I've done over these past three years since I retired. And I've been up here exploring the different combs, like I've just done now. I've come down a comb. And like I said, I'm videoing like this could be the last visit. The Bubbling Brook. Music. Well, it part that bit wasn't too bad. I mean, it didn't really get that wet, even though I, I didn't walk right into the bog. I did dive her off it. And uh, I'm expecting there to be a very bloated stream when I get down here. But there, is, there was another valley that came down as well, and I have seen other walks, other walks up. I just love this place, I just love it. And to see the deer like that, oh God, that's so beautiful. It's almost as if they were there to greet me and welcome me, you know. That's what I liked about that. No stags. I don't know where they go. They must go into hiding. <sighs> no stags. It would be lovely to see one. A big, bold, majestic stag. I've seen them in the past. Isn't this beautiful, everyone? This is heaven. My little Eden. Yeah, my little Eden. I wrote a poem for a friend once who I brought up here and introduced her to this beautiful place. I introduced her to this lovely, lovely place and I love it here. I really do. It's peaceful. It really is. And if you were to watch my videos, they're always like, well, they're, they are different. The scenery changes each time I come, because it could be summer, autumn, spring. You know, everything's different. God, it's beautiful though, isn't it? The sound of the water. It's really, really lush. Coming down, I'm expecting great difficulty in a minute. 
this is where really I should nip across here, look, and get over there. You know, you could cross here easily. Where it's narrow, because it's going to get really wide in a minute. It's never, you never see a path on that side. There will be people that know about the path though. Yeah, there was another path down. Yeah, I mean, I've been up that hill. I mean, you should come, you should come up here, really. You should do this, Coombe. That tree, you'd never think that tree would spring to life, would you? Look at it. And I do think some of them are looking very frail now. But they always do in the winter. I've got out early winter. It could have been the end of November the last time I was here. It could be something like 30th of November. Um, or it might have been very early December. I don't think I made it in actual December. There was a lot going on. Christmas and all that. Right, I'm going to turn off for a while. Over and out. Let me just zoom in. And what that is there. Probably a tree stump. I thought it was a cat for a minute. <sighs> yeah, sun's going down. <sighs> it's just so beautiful. I think I'll just keep it rolling. Yeah, when we were kids, we used to climb up these hills. The thing is, they had ant hills in them. But they've got wardens here, tidy up a lot. It used to look more like a tree graveyard. But because they've chased the deer and the foxes, they want their quads to be able to get down here, see? No, it would have been no good me crossing back there. Look, there's, there's no path. There's absolutely no pass. There. I reckon there's enough. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute. Right then, so I managed to cross the stream. There was a twig sticking out. I um, managed to put a foot on it, hold on. Someone had obviously done that, gouged this sort of branchy twig out. You could put your foot on it, it was really strong. And then with your stick, lever yourself up and grab hold of a root. I had to put the camera away on that occasion. And then we got we got another one to cross. And it could be that I've got to move back up this way again, like I did before to cross. So we'll just see. Ah, oh, lovely trees, aren't they? Hey, they're definitely all asleep. Sun's going down slowly. It's alright, we've got time. It doesn't get dark till at least half four or five now.
Mm-hmm.